Hi y'all, apologies for my looks. So, I would like to start this off by saying this series is not meant to incite any type of weird reaction from a weird crowd of people. It's just meant to take a neutral look at race and race relations in America's towns that have a majority of a racial minority so I'll be going to towns that are majority black Hispanic and Native American to see what it's like in the town and to hopefully get an answer to the questions I have about race relations in America to see if they've really improved or went down in these towns and to really see what it's like living in those towns compared to white America. And I hope y'all really enjoy this series and I hope it kind of opens people's eyes to how things are and, you know, it gives people a look into maybe a world that they didn't know before. So, I will be starting this series off by and this will be episodes and episodes. So I'll be starting the series off. My first episode will be in the two towns. The one town of Donaldsonville, Louisiana. And the second town of White Castle, Louisiana. I hope you all enjoy. And please tell me what you think of the series. And how I did. And where I can improve. I thank you. And have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in a bit. Hey y'all, we are now in Donaldsonville, Louisiana, so I figured I would give some history and facts about the town. The town is in Ascension Parish in Louisiana, and is actually the parish seat. Parishes in Louisiana are like counties in the rest of the U.S. According to the United States Census Bureau uh, of the Census of 2020, the town has 6,695 people in it, of which 77% are black, and... The town has a median income of $20,052 per year. Various indigenous tribes in Louisiana have been in this area for a very long time prior to European colonization. The first Europeans to come here were the French, uh, and they sold the area that Donaldsonville is in. They sold it to the United States in the Louisiana Purchase. And for a short time, Donaldsonville was actually the capital of Louisiana in the mid-1800s. A number of notable people from Donaldsonville, uh, including Henry Johnson, who was the governor of the state from 1824 to 1828, and Pierre Caliste Landry, I hope I pronounced that right, who was the first black mayor in America in the 1860s. About the same. Okay. Uh, what do you think uh, is in the future for America and the town? Uh, in the future, it's really depleted. Um. And final question: How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing fine. That's good. Uh, you got any like social media you want to shout out? You know? Nah, nah, nah. 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 I right, got you. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Nice meeting you. Have a great one. Okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get any interviews with the government. And the only other inter the only interview I did get today was at the DJ in Donaldsonville. So, on to White Castle. And let's see what that has in store. Have a wonderful day. Y'all, so now that we're in White Castle, uh... I figure I'd give a little bit of the history and some basic facts about the town. It is in Iberville Parish, which is in Louisiana. It has about 1,722 people, of which 90.19% are black, according to the United States Census 
of 2020. According to reports from the Census Bureau, the town has a median income of $19,435 per year. The town was officially established in the late 1800s and down the line in between the 1950s and the 1980s, many chemical companies set up shop in and around the area. So, um, my first question would be, um, what's it like living here? Okay. <laughs> I live in Baton Rouge. Okay. But uh, if I if I had to assume or guess, I would say you know it's real slow. Yeah. Like a thousand people here, or so almost two thousand. Yeah. Um. Next question is: Do you think living here is different from other cities in America? Almost definitely. Yeah. I see a lot of cornfields out here. Cane this is definitely cane de oh cane fields. I just sure, sugar cane. You got a sugar house. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely smaller than I because I, I just did some interviews in Donaldsonville. Yeah, we smaller and, than Donaldsonville. Yeah, it's way smaller. Um, so my next question is, uh, do you think race relations are different now than when you grew up? Race relations. Yeah. Are different now than when you grew up? Than when I grew up. Uh, well, I'm 25, so yep. yeah, I I would say they're different now. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, next question is, do you think they got better or worse? The race relationship? Yep. They got better, you know, because they, you know, they, uh, they wanted to, I guess, hide it and, you know, make, I'm going to just say it got better. Okay, Definitely gotcha. Do you feel like uh, you've been treated fairly here in, you know, the United States or this little town? As myself? Yeah. Uh, in the United States, yeah, I feel like I've been treated, you know, fairly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Do you feel like uh, this town has faced more struggles than others? Uh, I'm going to say, yeah. It has. From the, from the, uh, from the politics... To the, yep. to the people yeah. what do you think uh, the future holds for this town and the country uh, <laughs> the future for this town uh, well if we get that bridge that we you know, that, that we that we're hoping for that uh, connects us to the across the river over there um, yep. I feel like this town could, could grow but uh Without that bridge, I don't see it growing because, as you can see, like you said, there's a lot of cane fields. Yeah. Cane fields bring in a Small lot of town. Money. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sugar House right there is a. Uh, uh, I'm going to say. I want to say multi million, but it's, it's like hundred millions of dollars. That, Holy shit. Yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to yeah. start farming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and final question How was your day today, sir? Oh man, my day was pretty chill. Man. Oh, that's that's good. Woke up great. I woke up, you know. Started my my day started off great, you know. Came to work, attacked the day. Yeah. Did some. Work. Hey y'all. So. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of whatever I'm going to call this series. I don't quite know yet. But, um, yeah, uh, I tried really hard to get some interviews in and do this. And hopefully the next episode will be longer with more interviews. I appreciate you watching this. And I want to thank everybody who was involved with it. All the on-camera and off-camera interviews I did. Have a wonderful day, y'all, and I hope to see y'all tune in for the next episode.